What is up Swarm? Corey here with Honeyland and another normal week for us, which means I've got tons more announcements and things to let you know, things that we're working on and things that we are building. Uh, first off, I wanna let you know, I have revamped the white paper. I went through, we uh, modified, updated, changed some sections within the white paper. Uh, at the end of this video, I will share specifically the sections that you'll wanna pay attention to where the biggest updates were made, uh, or you can just go check it out and start browsing. It'll take a little bit of time to explain it, so I'll do it at the end of this video, but wanna let you know that the white paper has been updated in several key sections. Next, I wanna let you know that the alpha is open. So if you are a, a holder or you're somebody who is involved in the Honeyland project, but you did not get in on the alpha from the initial signups, you can now go join the alpha and become a part of it and start playing Honeyland. Uh, the, the feedback has just been overwhelming so far. Um, you can go to guide.honey.land. That'll give you all the instructions of what you'll need to do to connect and set up your account. But also you've got the two links there where you can download the test light version for iOS, or you can download the APK for any sort of Android device and you can start playing the alpha and joining all in the conversation. So uh, go to guide.honey.land if you want to participate in the alpha and have not yet done that. We are launching a World Cup football tournament. So the NFL Weekly Pick'em has been going well. We've had a ton of fun with that. Uh, it's created a little bit of excitement. We've got World Cup coming up and uh, we wanted to be able to do run sort of some sort of a contest for that. So Fabiano is putting on a contest and uh, there's gonna be over 60 soul giveaways uh, that we'll be giving away to like round winners and bracket winners and things like that. I'm not exactly sure. He's got all the details. So there's a post in mini announcements that has all the details. It's got the link to sign up, everything that you'll need to know. You can tag Fabiano if you've got questions directly for him uh, in the general chat and uh, we can get that all set up. I think the it starts in like two days or something. So uh, make sure that you go get signed up. It's free to all holders uh, and you'll wanna participate. Check out all the announcements or all the info in mini announcements. And we'll also have a short code built very quickly or you can tag Fabiano. I put together a, a founder's journal. This is a, a video series that I do from time to time that's not like project updates. It's just kind of like a, a message from me. Oftentimes it's more of a journal than anything else that I'm just kind of journaling my thoughts. Uh, in light of all the FTX stuff that took place over the last week or so, I put together some thoughts in, in terms of like what this means for the Web3 as a whole, what it means for Solana, what it means for Honeyland as a project and as a community and, and for all of us. Uh, and then just some some takeaways on an individual level of, uh, of how it uh, can kind of instruct and make my crypto journey and hopefully your crypto journey more enjoyable. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it's on YouTube. I'll have a link in this announcement as well. And then um, let's get into all of the white paper. Oh, and then I should mention Friday, we've got some uh, a bunch of calls that we're going to be doing on Friday. So check the event section here. But as a quick reminder, 8 a.m. Pacific time, I will have a call specifically for diamond and platinum pass holders. Um, this is where I'm able to share a little bit of kind of alpha, let you guys know inside some of the things that we're working on and collect your feedback. Um, that is only for diamond and platinum pass holders. We do that once a month. I will post the Zoom link for that in the diamond uh, holder announcement, that diamond lounge announcements uh, on Friday morning. So um, you'll have access to that just before the event. Uh, for everybody, we at 2 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, we will be having a um, an open discussion for alpha this again for, for alpha feedback again this will be open to any holders or pardon me anybody uh so anybody can join that uh that link is already in the the events and um just come at 2 p.m pacific and i want to at a high level just open up it'll be a zoom open discussion get all of your feedback at a high level um not necessarily bugs in and like feature requests because that is what we have the feedback.honey.land for but uh i just want to kind of collect your feedback what are the things that you're loving what do you want to see more of how can we make the best game on the planet and um so uh, i'll have an open discussion there and, um, and then I've also got, we just scheduled a uh, AMA. We're gonna be a part of um, with BR1. So they're one of the greatest games on the Solana ecosystem. They're starting to do like a weekly um, hours call or weekly spaces at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Fridays. They asked us to come. This is gonna be their very first one. They asked us to come join them. So that'll be fun. And then I've got a conversation with Saigo on Monday. Um, he is from Savannah, of course. Again, check in the events. Um, if, if you missed the uh, Famous Fox, uh, I had a conversation with Drax today. It was really, really cool. We'll do that again sometime in December. I'm not sure if it was recorded. If it is, it'll be on there on the Famous Fox uh, Twitter. So uh, anyways, that's all the kind of up to, uh, upcoming updates. So let's talk white paper really quickly. So uh, a couple key updates that we've made. First off, um, mission boosts. So these likes and dislikes and moods, you know that by matching these to your queen or to other um, bees on the mission that you're gonna get some sort of boost, but what are they? Those have now been added into the white paper. You can see exactly um, how you'll want to strategize your missions, your defense, your attack squad. There's a lot of things that will be valuable for that as well. Uh, and then of course the landform specialties um, will give you a boost as well. If you're sending bees to missions that match that landform, you'll get some boost there. So that's now in the white paper. There's a mission boost section. Um, 
the free to play uh, and like starter packs is probably where the biggest change has taken place. So we are gonna be moving forward with rather than three starter pack bees that can breed, we're gonna be moving forward with um, the ability to get up to nine starter pack bees or these Z generation bees, but they cannot breed. And so um, there's a number of mechanics and things that, that, that are in play here. One of these is that it will uh, essentially, everybody who signs up will get three bees. And then you have the ability to add three more bees and three more bees with what we're gonna call human verification. So if you link a Twitter or a Facebook account that's a verified account, um, it's not a bot account, we'll add three more bees to that starter pack. If you uh, link through FT, uh, through 2FA, through uh, either email or SMS that where you've got two-factor authentication, again, to prove that you are a human, uh, we will add three more bees. So you can get up to nine bees. Everybody should be able to do this, but it's also an anti-bot mechanic. Now, because of that, the it means that the only breedable bees in the game right now would be uh, Genesis bees, which means that's not gonna work. So we're gonna need to put a number of the bees that can start to breed into the game. We've got some ideas of ways that we're gonna be doing that. There could be a possible mint coming up. If we do, we will create one of the best mints on the planet. I, I tell you, we've already got some ideas. Um, it could be for people who are um, upgrading to BMM, there may be some shards that are involved there as you level up through XP and things like that. So a number of ideas that we have, um, we will have more clarity on this probably in the next seven days. Uh, now that we've finalized that update to the starter pack, we need to just figure out how we're gonna get some of those generational bees into the ecosystem at game launch so that uh, there's a number of different generations that can breed. Uh, I'll give you more information as I have it, but just understand that we've updated that free to play in that starter pack in that way. I think it'll be wildly beneficial to the game um, and the entire ecosystem, as well as just kind of the, the free to play model, allowing people to come in and, and can also serve as a, a major anti-bot mechanism uh, as well to make sure that bots are only getting three Bs while real people are getting up to nine Bs. Um, we've added a withdrawal tax, and this is something that we had talked about on a couple spaces. Um, I think that, you know, how I would define play to own um, as different than play to earn is that you'll find more value by keeping your assets in the ecosystem than removing them from the ecosystem in play and own. Um, and so there's no really more like loud way to actually say that than saying like you get 100% of the value of those assets in the ecosystem and you get a portion of that when you pull it out of the ecosystem. And so we're going to be implementing a what's called a withdrawal tax. This is something that Sunflower Land did. Um, it's been wildly successful for them. Um, the tax will be anywhere between 10 and 30% that you'll uh, that will be the tax if you're pulling um, the, the honey tokens that are in the game into actual HXD into your wallet. Um, and so that'll be determined by basically how much you've interacted with the economy. So the more you interact with the economy, uh, the, the, the lower that tax becomes. So brand new players will start at 30%. And as you interact with the economy, with the marketplace and um, the, the different in-game mechanics and, and spending honey and things like that, you'll actually be leveling up and that will be reducing your tax. That tax, as it's coming to us, uh, uh, this isn't final yet, but I believe 50% of that will go to the treasury, 25% of that will go be recycled back into player rewards, and then 25% of that will actually be burned. So for those of you who intend to earn and keep your assets in the ecosystem, you'll actually find a lot of value in this because we're actually gonna be burning and recycling some of those back into player rewards. It'll be wildly beneficial to you. For people who are coming into the ecosystem to extract more than participate, uh, of course, they're not gonna like this, but that is the definition of play and own. I wanna be very, very clear. We are building a play and own ecosystem that we intend to create value and utility over a long sustained period of time, not quickly try and be a flash in the pan where some people exit at the right time and create a bunch of liquidity while others are left holding the bag, not the ecosystem that we are trying to build and we're mechanically going to back that up with some of the things that we're doing. So I put a withdrawal tax in there. If you go to the tokenomics section, you'll be able to see um, that. Um, and then the final thing, let's see. Um, oh, and then extreme land. So I, th th there was a little bit of confusion even on my end, I think, um, or just miscommunication. What's happening with the extreme lands for the shards? It was my uh, interpretation that you could get like that it would just be for upgrades that, that the, the, like between the eight upgrade I items, that would be where extreme lands would only have one upgrade item per day. I was wrong, it could be any uh, item. So when you find extreme lands and you're hunting on extreme lands, it will be, uh, the honey pots that you're getting will only contain a single item and that I, if you, everybody hunting on that land that day will be getting the exact same item. So this allows you to kind of like target if you really want to go after like endurance upgrades, finding the extreme lands that are giving out endurance upgrade shards for that day and then targeting all of your bees going on missions there and trying to compete for those honey pots. So that'll be one thing that, um, that, that has changed, but it's not just upgrades. It can be shields. It can be, um, you know, the, the sonar buzz. It can be um, uh, the queen eggs, uh, you know, or queen up, um, all, all these different shards uh, that, that every shard that exists um, is, is um, available to be 
um, included in that. It's not just upgrades that would be like the single item for Extreme Land. So that was one uh, clarification more than like change or update. It's already in the alpha that way. That's where I needed to just get clar clarification. A lot of you have already found that and started just like hunting uh, egg shards uh, when you find like the Extreme Lands that have egg shards just going again and again to those. Uh, but anyways, uh, those are some updates to the white paper. There's a couple other small just like modifications, but those were kind of the big categorical upgrade upgrades that we made to the white paper. Feel free to check it out. If you've got any questions on the white paper on that Friday conversation, at 2 p.m. Pacific time where we're doing alpha feedback. It'll also be a bit of an AMA. I will um, be able to answer any questions that you have. And then I should just tease right now that probably next week I will have some huge announcements for you guys. Um, some really, really cool and fun things that we're going to be doing um, heading into the launch of the game. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that um, there will be some big announcements next week. I know that for anybody in the U.S. it's Thanksgiving week, so it's a little bit of a kind of an off week, but I will try to earlier in the week, probably Tuesday, schedule some sort of a spaces or AMA or something where I can give you guys some pretty exciting updates um, for things that we'll be doing closing out uh, November, uh, heading into December, give you some updates on some project things, um, some early alpha, a number of things like that. So I'll try and get that booked as quickly as possible. I'm waiting on a couple things, but plan on probably tentatively, like Tuesday afternoon is when I would think that we'll have a space as well. I'll be able to announce everything. All right. That's all I got for you today. Zub, zub.